Before we start the video, I do want to ask you guys a question because I plan on doing a trade to glory in FIFA 18. You guys have actually been asking for this all throughout FIFA 17 and I just keep telling you I'm doing that on Twitch. I do that all the time on Twitch. I just trade and trade and trade on Twitch. You can call it a trade to glory. But what I plan on doing this year is actually maybe taking that content from Twitch, editing it up, and then making a series for YouTube as well. Now you guys can still watch me live on Twitch, trade, ask me questions, do all the Twitch things live streams do, but then all also, you guys can watch it on YouTube if you miss a stream or if you guys don't want to watch the whole stream, you just guys want to watch a condensed version of it. Let me know how long of those videos do you want them to be. If I were to do a Trade to Glory series, do you want them to be less than 10 minutes long? Do you want them to be kind of between 10 and 20 minutes long? 20 to 30 minutes long? Maybe 31 to 40 minutes long or 41 minutes plus? Let me know. The straw poll link is in the description. Go ahead and vote and let's go ahead and get into the video. What is going on everybody? Welcome to the Elite Suite and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another video on how to make a lot of coins at the beginning of FIFA 18 and this one's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be regarding the player of the month. So let's go ahead and take it back all the way to the beginning of FIFA 17. If you guys remember, Raheem Sterling was actually the first player of the month card and it came out on October 1st which was only about five days after the full release of FIFA 17. So if it's only five days after the release of FIFA 17, it's at the very beginning of October, it's not going to be the September Player of the Month. He was actually the August Player of the Month for FIFA 17. Now, you're kind of putting the pieces together and realizing August is almost over for us. So we can actually determine who's going to be the first Player of the Month, which is one of the first squad building challenges at FIFA 18. It'll only be a few days after the full release. The full release this year is on the 29th of September, so it could be like October 2nd or 3rd, uh, maybe whatever the first Friday is going into uh, FIFA 18, whichever day that is. I'm going to go ahead and look at the calendar right now and actually pull that up for you guys. So September 2017 comes out on a Friday, so it'll most likely be on October the 6th when this is going to come out, which is only one week after the full release of the game. With that being said, who is it going to be? Who's going to be the squad building challenge player of the month, August, which comes out very early? Well, if we take a look at this tweet here, which was by Nathan Foot Trading on Twitter, I'll leave a link to him in the description. It actually says last year's August player of the month was Sterling, and he was the first FIFA 17 player of the month. In his opinion, Mikatarian is going to be this player of the month. Be ready when the SBC comes out. And I actually 100% agree with this. If you take a look at Mkhitaryan's stats, he does have the stats to actually be the player of the month to start it off. And this would be a pretty big card because Mkhitaryan is not low rated whatsoever. So he actually applies a little bit of speculation on what you're going to need for the Mkhitaryan player of the month. So let's go ahead and dig into this. What is the first squad building challenge? It's going to be revolved around Manchester United. So when you guys uh, were starting FIFA 17, if you guys remember FIFA 17's first player of the month, Raheem Sterling, the first one was actually Manchester City. And you needed to get a full team of Manchester City players, which was very expensive. All of them were nearly extinct, um, except for some wingers were a little bit cheaper, but especially those center attacking mids, they ended up being uh, quite a bit of coins. You couldn't even get like a bronze card for 10,000 coins. It was just completely extinct. Um, so something along the lines of 11 Manchester United players, a minimum team rating of 82, team chemistry of exactly 100, uh, the number of players in the squad, 11. So pretty straightforward. And one thing you guys have to remember as we are going into FIFA 18 is that the squad building challenges are probably going to start out quite simple and very broad in general. They're not going to be too specific on what players you need because it's just starting out. People don't have the coins for you to get a Ibrahimovic and um, have to, you know, pay 700k for an Ibra like we did in FIFA 17. They're not going to do that. They're going to be very broad, you know, Premier League, you know, an entire vast range of players, not specific to, you know, one or two players that can fit that position. So with that being said, Premier League, you're going to need like around an 83 rating. That's what we saw for most of the player of the months for the first few months. 
what you guys saw is every single one of them had a requirement of a Premier League team. And it was about 83, maybe 84 rated overall. But I think they'll start with 83 rated. They're going to start lower. They're going to make it a little bit easier because they don't want to inflate these prices too much because the market just started. It's still stable, completely stable. They don't want to send players into extinction. Team chemistry, 100. Number of players, 11. And rare players, uh, exactly 11. We, we might not see rare players exactly 11 required. They'll probably not even require that, but most likely will still use all rare players. If not, you could, you know, there are some players like Roque Mesa for Swansea this year who is 82 rated and non-rare. Uh, but there's going to be very, very few non-rares that you could use um, depending on what they do with non-rares this year. We saw the highest rated non-rare non this year was 82 rated. Previous years it was 81 rated. Um, so it could be 83 rated this year. Never know. Um, but we'll see what they do with that. Uh, SB3, uh, SBC3 is going to be Armenia, and, and this isn't confirmed, this is just speculation, obviously, but um, these are most likely going to be requirements. So there's six SBCs, I imagine they'll choose four of these, and they might throw in a, a curveball for us, but uh, let's go ahead, I'm going to give you my personal guarantee that if it is Mkhitaryan, that wins player of the month, then three of, you know, these six are definitely going to be required. So you might as well invest in them early into the game. It's it's easy coins. You'd also sell into the hype if you, if you don't feel like he's going to get player of the month. You just sell into the hype and make easy coinage. So, Armenia players. Three Armenia players, a 77 rating, team chemistry exactly 100, number of players in the squad 11. So, there's probably going to be a little bit difficult because there's not too many gold Armenian players. You might actually have to use Mkhitaryan in this one. Um, there's probably a few silvers, a few bronzes, and then you can just throw in other players that link with each other, like from the Bundesliga, La Liga, League One. Uh, pretty easy there. Then we've got SBC4, which is opponents, and here are the teams that they played in August. They played Leicester, they played Swansea, they played West Ham, and those are the uh, teams that Mkhitaryan did perform well against. So, with that being said, you're probably going to need one or two players from each team. Now, Nathan did go with one player from each team, but they could do two, and they've done two in previous, um, in previous uh, player of the months um, where it was, you know, if they scored a goal against a certain team and then, you know, how many goals they scored against them is how many uh, players you needed from that team. Uh, given the fact that Mkhitaryan had a lot of assists and not so many goals, um, he probably is not going to follow that trend, so it'll probably be like one or two players from each team. Then rare players, exactly 11, 82 rating and uh, chemistry of 80, but it can't hurt to pick up a couple Swansea and West Ham and Leicester players that are around 80 to 81 rated. Make sure to pick up rare players if you can, because they're more likely going to be used in the squad building challenges if there's a requirement of rare players, but I don't think it'll hurt to pick up some non-rares even if they're like 80 rated and 81 rated, because they'll probably be used for the squad building challenges too. Now, this is only a speculation. It's not guaranteed that rare players are needed. So you could pick up potentially some non-rares that could be used. Then SBC, 5 to 11 nations. Max 6 players from the same league. Players from different nations is exactly 11. Minimum team rating of 80. Team chemistry of 100. And players in the squad is 11. So this is one of those nation league hybrids that we saw this year. Now, this is one of them that I'm not 100% sure we'll see with player of the month. But we can see something along these lines in the advanced category of squad building challenges that give you good pack rewards. But you can prepare for this in some different ways. There's not too many specific players you would want to buy for this. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one where it's SBC 6 to 11 clubs. Exactly 11 Premier League players, 11 Premier League clubs, rare players, 8. Minimum team rating is 83 and the team chemistry is 100. So with this one, you just want to be picking up the cheapest Premier League 83 rated cards. There's so many different cards in the Premier League between 82 and 84 rated that you guys are going to be able to pick up pretty early, and they'll skyrocket. They will absolutely skyrocket. They might go extinct uh, if the squad building challenge is released. I don't think there's any risk at all picking up some of these 82 to 84 rated Premier League players because there's so many different squad building challenges within player of the month that can just make them go up. So what you could do is you could pick up 83 rated Manchester United players. Maybe Juan Mata would be 83. I'm not sure what his rating is going to be, but there will be a few around 83 rated Manchester United um, and pick those cards up because those are the ones that are guaranteed to rise. So you got to prepare for this early when they're very cheap. You don't want to wait too long. You definitely don't want to wait until the squad bidding challenge drops because then it's too late. So get into this early, guys. That's going to be basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to slap a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. That's all I ask in return. I hope you enjoyed your stay in the Elite Suite. Check out the links in the description to the people that helped out with this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.